Hey, hello everyone. Welcome to my channel, SAPSD and ABAP League Support. It is continuation series on SAPSD Support Project Real Time Tickets. So there is one ticket. The issue here is that there is one outbound IDAC has been triggered from the invoice. The message type here is that invoice. So in the invoice message type, so we have item segments are there. That is even EDP zero one. So this item segment contains pricing segments. That is even EDP twenty. So remember that even EDP zero one is an item segment, and even EDP twenty is the pricing data inside this even EDP zero one segment. Let me show you what I mean. So I'm going to W02, and uh, I'm going to look for message type that is invoice, and it is an outbound IDAC. I'm execute. Okay, there is no IDAC selected. Let me put it as zero. Nothing is here. Let me make it as. Okay, I am getting some data now. It's loading. Please bear with me. Okay, so it's an outbound IDAC. If I open this uh, IDAC number, data records. First, let me open the invoice number first. So, in uh, even EDK zero one segment, we see the invoice number as the field is Belner here. Copy this invoice number. Go to the transaction code VF zero three. Okay, and if I go to that output section, I can see one output has been triggered. That is RD double zero standard output type. See, and it is in medium is A. A means A L distribution. That means it's an IDA output type. Okay, so whenever any IDAC output type has been triggered, and if that output is successfully triggered, means then it will generate one IDAC in the background. If I select this one and click on processing log, I can see the IDAC number here. You see this one? IDAC number is five one three seven four eight, and this is the same thing only, right? Yeah. So the problem here is that even IDP zero one is item data. If you see this invoice. There is only one item in this invoice, item ten, and this is that item data only. So inside this even EDP zero ones, we see pricing data. There is even EDP zero five only available here. And if I double click here, if I go to conditions, here we can see several data here, right? So even EDP zero five is referring to one pricing element in this item. If it's a plus means That plus means that value of the segment is adding to the net value of that item. If it's a minus, then that value will be reduced from that net value of the item. So plus will be determined whenever it is in surcharge, base price, freight, or ZVAT like that, because these prices will be added to the net price. If it's a discount means, then we see. As even EDP zero five minus minus means it will be reduced from the item. Okay, I have mentioned wrongly here. It's even EDP zero five. Okay, so the issue here is that the main intention of the ticket is that the pricing are missing in the IDAC. Okay, to print any pricing information in the IDAC or in a Email output type or print output type, then there is even config available in the pricing procedure. Let me go to pricing procedure ticket. There is v slash zero eight. And let me note it down the pricing procedure for this invoice. The pricing procedure for this invoice is 
R V C X U S. Let me search that one here. Yeah, it is here. Select this one and click on Control. Okay, if you see here, in the 16 field in the pricing procedure, there is one field called print. In the print, we should maintain the relevant data here. If I put cursor here and click on F4 or click this display icon, I can see different parameter has been maintained here. If you want to print any item, data at the item level means we should make it as an A, small A or small B, C, D. A, B, C, D used for printing the data at item level. If the value is not equal to zero, if the value is not equal to zero of that condition type, then only we should enable this as B. If you don't bother about the price, if it is zero or it has some value, in all the cases, if you want to display that pricing information, then go with option A. So basically, we'll maintain always B here only. So one of the issue here is that one of the condition type is missing in that IDAC level. When we check the pricing procedure, for that condition type, nothing is maintained. It's maintained as blank here. So then what we did, we have maintained small b for the relevant condition type. After maintaining small b, then that data getting started populating into the IDAC. Okay, so one more thing I would like to tell you that there is one table to display all these 16 fields data. That is T6683S. If you open this table and copy this pricing procedure here and execute. And here is the So here is the print option is there. Okay, so if you see here, everywhere it has been maintained as X only. Yeah, so everywhere it has been maintained as X only. And if I apply filter here, if I click this one, everywhere it is X only. And if you see the IDAC, we see only one data getting populated, that is grass. Only grass is getting determined the item level, right? And uh, if I go to this here and put X and execute, the grass is this one is the grass. And here they have maintained as X. What does it mean? X means pricing at item level, previous procedure. That means this pricing will be determined at the item level. So in my case, what we did to the fix is that we have maintained small b and uh, if the value of the item is not equal to zero, then it's printing. But in this case, in this example, in my test system example, they have maintained as x and it's determined as, that has been determined there. Okay, so here we have, in the pricing procedure, we have several steps are there, but uh, whatever determined in that uh, F2 invoice, and if that is has X, then those will be populated into the IDAC. See, this is only we see in that item level. See the value grass. And rest of that item said Z201 RCW doesn't have any values in the pricing procedure, right? That's why it isn't determined into the IDAC. So the simple thing is that if we maintain the print parameters in the pricing procedure, then only that will be populated in that IDAC output type or else it's a print or email. Whatever the output type, if you want to populate, we should maintain that entry in pricing procedure. Okay, let me capture this screenshot in the document for reference. And uh, remember the table, table for pricing procedure 16 steps are that is T6, T3, yes. And the T code is 
v slash 08 for pricing procedure hope this video will be very helpful we'll meet in the next video thanks everyone